Hello my fellow gearheads, today I'm here with another retro review of a space set. This time it's the Space Police 2 Rebel Hunter 6897 from 1992. According to Brickling, this set contains 134 parts and two minifigures. One of them is the regular Space Policeman, that you can see over here. And he already has a microphone and some hair prints and eyebrows, which is, I believe, the first time uh, Lego printed something different except for the generic smiley f happy face on the minifigure heads. And afterwards it's starting going like more and more crazy year by year. You can as well see that he has quite a nice torso print with the space police saying over here and some gadgets and wires and whatnot. Uh, no prints obviously on the backside. And these sets as well came with the regular Blacktron 2 minifigures with the oxygen tanks at the back. This set was sitting somewhere in the middle of the range of the Space Police 2 product line. And this is the smallest of the set that contains these Space Police 2 prison cells with this mainly helicopter windshield. It was afterwards used to lock the minifigure inside like so and you just place basically the, the Blacktron or any of the bad guys in here and afterwards just closed closed the, the window and they were securely sitting over here having some gaps over here just to be able to uh, be grabbed by the main function of the model which Probably not the best in the space because you need a lot of oxygen in your tanks to be able to breathe for so long. Uh, yeah, and these were universally swappable between all the bigger SKUs. Uh, so instead of sliding backwards uh, the whole prison cell from Space Police 1, they just created something like this. I personally prefer the old system, but this is not bad at all and as well provide some interesting uh, building options in terms uh, of alternate builds because you can afterwards simply just reuse these generic bricks and slopes uh, and arches uh, to create something new. Besides the transparent green cockpit uh, on the prison cell, uh, the main part of the set uses this cockpit that uh, was first time used in Space Police 1, just in transparent green color. Uh, these quarter domes and as well the undersides of them and I believe this is the only set that uses the red ones and yeah they afterwards utilized like slopes and tiles with the Space Police 2 logo all over the place. This one ju uses just one but as well comes with these two arrow prints on the tiles. Inside the cockpit you can find another printed slope which in my opinion is actually pretty cool. Uh, let me see if you can get enough light here. Yeah. Uh, there's some vectors basically targeting a ship that is trying to escape uh, from this one and it looks really cool. I just noticed I forgot to put one by one uh, plate over here so I'm just gonna put it right there so the set is complete. Besides the cockpit sections that can open on the prison cell and on the main ship the main feature of this thing is that it can accordion and retract like so and then if you fly over the prison cell just press the sides like so and then you can fly off with it. It's very swooshable, you can hold it by the cross axles over here or by any of these sections and unlike uh, some of the other sets the prison cell doesn't fall out uh, that easily because it's held straight uh, by the three uh, cross axles the, uh, the rear section slides on. The rear of the ship is pretty bare, you just have basically indication of two tiny thrusters over here, no big thruster with a, um, with a bracket sitting anywhere over here, uh, but it as well has like four other engines on the side. I remember when I was a kid I uh, used to go to a toy shop and this one was standing there on the shelf for quite a while and I was desperately looking at it and trying to find and save enough from my pocket money until it was eventually gone so I missed 
my opportunity but on the other hand uh, right now looking at the set it offers some very nice parts that can be easily reused but um, the main volume of this is uh, achieved by using these uh, monorail supports on the sides which to be honest in, in rebuild models are kind of useless as well a quick note on the color scheme of Space Police 2 I don't think it's bad by any means uh, but I still like the Space Police 1 color scheme with black, uh, transparent red and blue a bit more uh, which was kind of hinting towards the American uh, police this with the green and uh, the old light grey and black is more like old Polizei German cars if you know what I mean uh, yeah the color scheme at least reminds me of, of these ones but I don't think it's, it's bad at all it's just not as striking if you check out this set on the back of the box builds or if you are one of the lucky ones that still kept the box from this set you can see that there are three small-ish builds uh, from this one of them is kind of like a mech that is walking on these supports uh, as legs and then there are two smaller spaceships but I took the elements from this one and I turned it into a twin rotor helicopter which wasn't very easy but I managed to use all the elements that are available in the set and you can check it out soon in uh, my channel where I upload the video with completely free building instructions but yeah final thoughts about this set I still do like the shape I do like the functionality that it offers being able to pick up and drop the uh, drop the prison cell and I as well like that you can shrink it into uh, a way more compact uh, spacecraft even though the cross axles are just sticking in pretty ugly way from here but it doesn't bother me too much it actually is a pretty nice medium sized set but yes that was pretty much it from my side so I hope you guys had fun watching the video if yes hit the thumbs up feel free to comment and if you are new over here don't forget to subscribe that way you do not miss out on any of my future content and you can look forward to the instructions for the twin rotor helicopter. Until next time, stay safe, take care, bye bye and Space Police 2 out! Mm.